today we're talking about bone fractures and healing and specifically a protocol uh, for bone support um, developed by my father, Dr. Hank Lears, a number of years ago. And the protocol highlights um, about 10 to 12 of our products that we've had over the years. And I want to cover um, these products um, in support of our protocol for bone fracture support. This is going to basically be relevant for anyone who has a bone fracture or who would like to uh, heal from a bone fracture um, or a broken bone. And also for people who maybe have been healing and you know, there, there's still pain or, or they want to accelerate that healing. So this is why we developed the, um, the bone uh, fracture um, and bone support protocol. The first set of uh, products or subset, I should say, in the bone health protocol um, are actually our foundational supplements. So you'd think that, you know, I'd come out saying, oh, there's this bone product that we have or this joint and ligament product we have. And we do have bone products and joint uh, products and they're in the protocol. And I'm going to be talking about them shortly. But um, it's really, really important that um, we have developed a system of supplements. And so everything starts with the foundational supplements, which I have right here. And I'm going to show you here in a minute, just quickly, um, because um, if you're not on foundational supplements on a regular basis, then uh, you won't have that underlying support you'll need for health in general. Um, but in particular, specifically regarding bone health, um, it's it's kind of the same thing. Um, Human bones and, and connective tissues require certain nutrients for, um, for health. And if you're taking the uh, foundational supplements, you'll have a really great foundation for, uh, for having um, healthy and strong bones and connective tissues. This particular product um, contains a multitude of nutrients for general health. And that is includes vitamins, it includes minerals, in this case, it has a few antioxidants um, at very good levels, levels that are higher than the uh, recommended daily values for most uh, nutrients. And it's the very first supplement we recommend anybody take is a high potency, high quality um, multivitamin. And then we have um, a vitamin C product. In this case, it's Pro-C. This is our sort of our high end. It contains not just vitamin C, but it also contains antioxidants and certain herbal ingredients like only OPCs from grape extract um, and has some green tea extract. And it all works together to, to really um, maximize and optimize the vitamin C um, in the body. And then these are this is essential fats. So um, essential fatty acids are also considered to be essential nutrients, including EPA and GLA. Um, you know, omega-3 um, and omega-6 that you need for um, for health. And then finally, this is a Rejuvenate Superfood. We include it in the foundational supplements. It's not absolutely required to take that, say every day or at all, but we include it because it contains high levels of a dietary nucleic acids. It's a special superfood developed by my father, Dr. Hank Lears. We have a, a, a several different um formulations. This is the plus formula. That's the sweet greens. It's light green. Uh, has chlorella and spirulina in it. And then we have a berries and herbs, which is organic, based on organic berries and herbs. And um, both provide uh, therapeutic levels of dietary nucleic acids, RNA. And so that's what makes our superfoods special and unique and different. And this is our complete foundational supplements program. So this is where you would start now, in the context of um, bone bone health, you would definitely want to be taking these first three. Um, certainly, the superfood would help, especially the, the, the Rejuvenate Plus with the greens, giving you those uh, additional uh, nutrients like uh, chlorella and spirulina. But those are the foundationals. And so, basically, um, you don't have to take our products. We have really excellent products. But if you're going to be... Uh, in a program to heal a, a fracture or a bone issue, you're gonna wanna have the a multivitamin 
some type of vitamin C product and essential fatty acids because it is just well known that these are the nutrients that are required by the human body in order to um, maintain health and support health, but also so to support health and healing, to support the healing of bodily systems, including uh, the bone and connective tissue system, uh, which would basically be uh, involved in uh, the healing of, um, of a bone fracture. So we covered foundationals, which are basically the nutrients that are sort of almost a precondition for healing. A second set of supplements in the bone health protocol are the enhancement formulas. These, as far as part of the, uh, the bone support protocol, um, are going to be more targeted. So, for example, we have the vitamin D3 um, plus. Um, so you need to be taking some form of vitamin D3. This particular product is 5,000 um, IU um, and of vitamin D3. Um, and it also includes some vitamin A and D-alpha tocopherol as a, as a preservative or protector and some vitamin K2, very important nutrient for bone health. So this is an optimal, ideal uh, product because it's been extremely well balanced with not just vitamin D3, um, but with the vitamin K2 um, and the vitamin A, which are all extremely well regarded as, as, as nutrients that are interactive in terms of creating uh, bone health, um, connective tissue health. You need vitamin uh, D3 for the formation of bone and the other nutrients that are in there as well. And um, in fact, um, you also need vitamin D3 for immunity. So that may be a secondary factor, but if you've been really smashed up and you've got especially if you have a big fracture or multiple fractures and there's been can any type of connective tissue involvement, uh, that immunity component of the vitamin D3 um, could be critical, um, could be essential for, for you. So um, 5,000 IUs, you'd probably start, if you have a big fracture or multiple fractures, you'd start at a couple of capsules a day. You can consult the table or the chart that's in the... Uh, HPDI bone uh, support protocol. The protocol is actually a table with uh, listings of these supplements. Now the next supplement we have here is the uh, is the Hank and Brian's Bone Jure. We carry several bone um, health supplements. Uh, we also have a bone a bone guardian uh, caps product. I recently did a video on this product, a standalone video that you should check out. This is a stellar bone product. You know, um, I guess I could have started this whole video out with just this product and say, hey, you, you got a bone fracture, take this. But we have a systems approach, and so we're not going to just say, oh, take the bone product. Now, this product is extremely well balanced. Um, it does contain some vitamin C, some vitamin D3, and some K1. So obviously, it's, it's, gonna, it's overlapping because, unfortunately, some people, this is all they're going to take for some, you know, for their bones. And so we're not going to, like, leave them cold and not give them any, any of those um, essential nutrients that are really foundationals. It provides um, critical um, uh, minerals like, um, like, like silica and boron and strontium, um, as well as manganese, magnesium, and zinc, and some copper, and of course, calcium, right? That's, that's, a, that's, that's probably the largest single ingredient in here. And the calcium forms are from malate and citrate um, and ascorbate. So you, these are going to be feeding straight into the Krebs cycle. And your body's going to recognize them and your body's going to assimilate them and it's going to work really, really well. I love this product. Um, but if you have a bone fracture, then uh, you're going to need something like this to support um, the bones and connective tissues. Um, and it, what will make it work even better, of course, is when you have all those foundational supplements that you're already taking that are providing the, all those nutrients that your body needs. Then you add something like this. It's going to supercharge the healing um, of the fracture and the connective tissue damage and make everything work better immediately. Next up, I have here is the Myomag. This is um this is our premier magnesium product. There's lots of products out there on the market. You need to be taking magnesium if you have um, bone fracture 
um, or you know, broken bones or connective tissue damage um, for uh, lots of reasons. Um, one of which is simply energy production in the body. The, the uh, magnesium allows the body to produce more energy and that energy is used by the body to then help support the healing processes. Now, um, this particular product is no ordinary magnesium. This has magnesium from magnesium malate, magnesium glycinate, and magnesium carbonate. These particular forms are extremely well assimilated and the body recognizes them immediately. It also contains malic acid. Um, and that malic acid, that's what really just drives the energy production um, and works with the magnesium. Um, in fact, it's part of the magnesium in the malate form. So um, you see the little lightning bolt on here? I don't know if you can see that. That is some indicator of what we felt this product can do. So it's, it's not strictly an energy production um, supplement, but um, it's a magnesium supplement that supports muscles, bones, joints, connective tissues of all sorts, as well as energy production and enzyme systems. If you're having bone issues, um, consult the table, but you know, it'll just depend on the nature of the fractures. You might need to take a bunch of myomag to get those magnesium levels up because when the body's under stress, what's the first thing to go? Those magnesium levels that you have are gonna be severely compromised. Your body's going to be sucking up magnesium. You'll be drained of magnesium. Um, and that's not a good thing. The next product uh, up on the list here is pH Adjust. Show it to you here, pH Adjust. This is a product that's designed to bring your pH into the level of about 7.4-ish, um, no matter what pH you're at. And um, it's really easy to overlook the, the concept of pH and when it comes to bone health, but one of the reasons that people in Western societies or modern societies globally, um, one of the reasons that they have weaker bones and a weaker connective tissues is simply because they're overly acidic. Acidity is caused by modern diets, um, too high meat and, meat and carbohydrate consumption, uh, sugars, stress. There's a lot of reasons that the average person is, is, is on the acidic side or more acidic than they should be. Um, and so we've developed this product to remedy that. So it has four ingredients and it's an extremely simple product. It's really basically just um, uh, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. The forms are uh, magnesium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, um, and potassium bicarbonate. And um, in this particular variant, there's a little bit of potassium glycinate, which is readily assimilated and adds a little sweetness. The reason that pH is important for bone health is because when, you're, when your body is acidic, the body needs to buffer its own acidity by taking minerals from the bones to buffer it because the body cannot live with acidic conditions. So something's going to give. And so what typically happens is, is the, uh, the body says, okay, we're acidic. We need to buffer this. What can we do? We need some minerals to do this. And so the first thing it's going to do is start rubbing your bones of, um, and teeth, I might add, <laughs> for those minerals to then buffer the acidity, which you really didn't need to have in the first place if you had the correct diet if you were getting enough of the of the of the minerals from from your diet and if your diet had um you were eating a diet that was much much higher in say fresh fresh red vegetables and fruits relative to the uh, processed meats <laughs> or not processed meats um and um and carbohydrates especially simple carbohydrates and so this is why you should eat your fruits and vegetables right uh, and who does right of course I do, but like, it's really difficult for the average person for whatever reason to get enough fruits and vegetables. And so, you know, with the, with the consumption of meats and the consumption of, or I should say overconsumption of meats and overconsumption of carbohydrates, you end up with a, with an, a, an untenable condition of acidity in the body. That's then going to rob your bones of, um, of the critical minerals that you need to have strong bones. So your bones are going to be in a weaker state. So a product like pH adjust is gonna put you 
into the um, prime optimal 7.4 pH range that will then allow your body to maintain um, its structural integrity in terms of uh, bone health and bone strength. If you find yourself in a situation with a fracture, beginning to start adding things like pH adjust will then give you the minerals and give you the, um, it'll drive that alkalinity and put you in a better place from a pH perspective, putting you back into the normal range of say 7.35 to 7.45 without sacrificing minerals um, from your bones. So you'll put a stop to that, you'll get more alkaline and your healing process will go a lot faster. These are sort of the enhancement formulas that I've been talking about. These are specific to bone, bone health, bone support. Um, now, this one um, is sort of a little different than the other ones because these are true enhancement formulas. This formula is just a buffered vitamin C. This case, In this case, it's a powder. We also sell tablets. Now, I already covered um, vitamin C in the in the foundational supplements section, which was the beginning of this video. Well, I'm bringing the topic of vitamin C back up because if, like I said, if you're, if the, the fractures are severe um, and, and or multiple, and if there's connective tissue damage, which there pro probably will be um, in conjunction with the fracture itself, then your need for vitamin C for optimal healing could go up by could go up tenfold because vitamin C is the premier uh, connective tissue nutrient. And you don't hear this too often, but vitamin C is, is required for the formation of collagen itself. You can't make collagen without vitamin C. And so connective tissues, which are collagen based, including bone, are really vitamin C dependent tissues. And so, if you're trying to heal from a uh, from from bone fractures, broken bones, connective tissue uh, torn, pulled, um, severed, you know, you're going to need much much larger quantities of vitamin C, um, and so that's why I'm showing this particular vitamin C because the Pro C I talked about is sort of a premier form. It, it's super well assimilated. It's got all kinds of extra nutrients. This one is just straight up vitamin C. And it's but it's buffered, so it's not going to cause any issues with pH, and um, it's it provides minerals. It has potassium, it has calcium, it's got magnesium, it's got zinc. Um, you know, these are all from uh, mineral ascorbates of these of these minerals, ascorbates of these minerals. And so, in addition to the vitamin C, and in addition to being an alkaline forming, or a, certainly not an acid forming vitamin C, it's just not. You know, when you mix this up, it's a powder. You put it in water, and it fizzes. You know, it's it's not going to be as alkaline as, you know, pH adjust would be, but it's going to be, this particular product is going to be far more alkaline than if you were taking, say, an ascorbic acid or a, a non-buffered form of vitamin C. And even most buffered vitamin C products will not buffer the way this particular one does, simply because it's been so well formulated by my father, that um, Dr. Hank Lears, that... Um, uh, you will benefit greatly from having a form of vitamin C which will help preserve the state of alkalinity in your body and yet give you vast quantities of vitamin C. So for example, in a single serving of this is a one, one level half teaspoon is two full grams of vitamin C. So if you were, let's say you were getting, I don't know, three or four grams of vitamin C a day from your pro C or whatever vitamin C you're already taking, but now you have these bone fractures and you need to drive your consumption up by grams. Let's say by, let's say you were going to, let's say you had bad fractures and you wanted to go up to 10 grams of vitamin C a day in addition to the grams that you were already getting. Well, that's like five level half teaspoons, which, you know, if you took it by the teaspoon, which it's better to break it up, that's two and a half teaspoons. And, and two and a half teaspoons, you're gonna get your you're gonna get your ten extra grams of vitamin C at at a at a very low cost, I might add, because this is the most cost effective form of vitamin C that we that we sell. So you can see how the vitamin C you can have your little high end 
you know, relatively lower dose vitamin C for your daily needs for part of your foundational supplements. But then when you've got this specific problem, you can jack up that vitamin C level by taking this less expensive, easy to take, high potency vitamin C. And now um, our premier formula for uh, uh, supportive connective tissues, this is the joint health formula. Now, I, earlier, I showed you our bone formula, which is our, our bone jour, and we, and we also have a, another formula called bone, bone guardian um, in capsules. Those are specific to bone health, maintaining bone health, and supporting bone health. This, however, the joint health formula, is geared toward healing connective tissues. That's its job, to rebuild connective tissues. And so consequently, the ingredients in the joint health formula are all geared toward supporting connective tissues in the most, the, the, the best way possible, the most optimal way. And so it includes ingredients like, um, like boswellia, uh, like rutin, um, like sea cucumber, and MSM. Um, and it does have grape extract in it. Um, and glucosamine. I take, um, I probably take six of these a day. Now, um, consult the protocol, but you may need a lot more than that. Um, you may need 12, you know, it'll, it will just depend on, on your needs. I take it more, mostly because, um, I'm an athlete and I do a lot of different things. And if I don't take three to six a day, I, I end up feeling things I don't want to feel. If you are recovering from a fracture, this is going to be your best friend because it's, it's all about the connective tissue. It's all about repair. It's all about giving yourself the nutrients that your body then can then use to like rebuild. I recently did a whole video, a whole long video on this product alone. So you should consult that on YouTube. I go into a deep dive essentially on, on this product and, uh, you can you can learn more more in more depth about all the things that are in it and the amounts and how all those ingredients work together. Um, this is probably the single most applicable formula to a bone fracture bone support protocol in terms of specific condition. So even though this video didn't start with this product, um, after maybe the, uh, the 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 bone jur, I I could have made this. Um, one of the one of the very first products um, that I would talk about. It's that critically important. Um, you know, there are other products on the market, but you need to be taking something like it. But I don't really see anything quite like it. Meaning, meaning this, it's it's the way all the ingredients were put together. All the ingredients were put together in such a way as to work together to be synergistic, um, and not only synergistic amongst themselves in optimal ratios um, and in the development of a formula that uh, has has um, ingredients that work together, but also within the entire supplements system, including the foundational supplements. So when Dr. Hank, my father, developed this formula, he was thinking along the lines of the foundational formulas being something that you would take. Um, he was thinking about the enhancement formulas like the vitamin D3 plus and the magnesium that you'd be taking. Um, and so we have this put together this entire protocol for bones and we have all the products in it that you would need. So, um, it's kind of a convenient thing, but it's also an amazing thing because it'll, it will all, um, work together. Now, that being said, um, this could be used as a standalone. Let's say, you know, um, you're taking your own multivitamin and you get your own foundational supplements or not. Um, this will still work because Hank has put some vitamin D3 plus in here, uh, vitamin D3 that is in here. He has, there's selenium in here. There's manganese in addition to all the other nutrients. And so um, you're not going to not get results by taking this by itself. You, you will get results, but for optimal and maximal results, you'll want to have um, at least the foundationals. But if you put together the entire system for bone fracture, or at least most of it, 
you're going to see results that are just so much faster and you're going to heal so much better and you're going to heal stronger. And in fact, the connective tissues and bones themselves will be denser. And so um, if you would rather not have to deal with weaker bones or bones that are improperly healed or, or take longer to heal, um, then um, considering um, something like a joint health formula specific condition to go along with the entire protocol um, is going to really be your best um, your best option. So next, I'd like to talk about um, a product known as Prolit. Now this is Prolit. Now what these are, what's in Prolit is actually this is an enzyme supplement that has proteolytic enzymes in it. So it contains uh, bromelain, which is um, an enzyme. Um, it contains um, uh, um, turmeric and uh, trypsin, um, another enzyme, quercetin and biovin grape extract and chemotrypsin. So it's the trypsin, the chemotrypsin and the bromelain that are doing the heavy lifting from an enzymatic standpoint. So it's an enzyme supplement. So in particular, this is not just any enzyme supplement, it's designed for the breakdown of proteins. So historically, we would typically carry one enzyme formula, Prolit, for the, for the breakdown um, and digestion of proteins, which you could actually take with foods that you wanted to break down, say you had a big steak or something, you know, or any type of protein you weren't, desi weren't digesting it properly, you could just take it with a Prolit. So why is it in the bone fracture program? Why is it in the protocol for bone fractures and bone health? Because the proteolytic enzymes have some very unique features when it comes to the, the, um, the breakdown of um, cellular debris. So for example, if you were to take, if you had a fracture um, and you, you were to take a number of these, I don't know, three would be a minimum. You probably want to take six or even more, depending on what's going on with your fracture. The enzyme breaks down cellular debris and it also breaks down inflammation. So it essentially goes in there and it knows where to go and it, it circulates and it chews up dead cells, which is what you're going to have when you get a fracture. And it's going to chew up, it's going to chew up, it's going to eat the inflammation, which is what you're definitely going to have, you know, when you're swollen and when you're tender and when you've had cellular damage, you're going to be, there's going to be like massive inflammation because that's how what your body is trying to do to help heal itself. But it's not going to feel good and it's not going to help um, necessarily um, with the fracture itself, you want to clear some of that inflammation. And when and the way you clear it is by taking the proteolytic enzymes in prolit. You'll want to do it on an empty stomach because it's an enzyme for digesting your protein. You take it with food, it's going to work on digesting your food. But when you take it on an empty stomach, it's going to go and it's going to go into the damaged area. It's going to break out that, it's going to, it's going to digest that inflammation, if you will. It's going to digest cellular debris and clear out dead cells. I don't know, like clots and like all different kinds of dead things. Um, it'll help cleanse your clean, clean debris from your bloodstream. It will help clean debris from your lymphatic system. It's just going to be a cleanser. It's going to go out and chew up whatever's not supposed to be there. And when you have a bone fracture, that's going to be inflammation and it's going to be cellular debris. So this is a real cool way that you can add this to your protocol, take it on an empty stomach, uh, consult the protocol because it'll depend upon the level of damage that you have, the types of fractures, the magnitude of those fractures. One of the consequences of taking this and of reducing the inflammation and of reducing the cellular debris will be pain control because when you can reduce the inflammation, you will also reduce pain. Now this is I'm not making promises and I'm not claiming this is a painkiller. I'm simply saying that it will clear cellular debris and it will clear inflammation. And when that happens, you can expect to feel better and heal faster because what will happen is, is when that debris is cleared, then the nutrients like the nutrients in the joint health and the nutrients in the, um, in the bone sure or bone guardian can now get in. You're going to have better blood flow. 
you're going to have better circulation. You're going to start being able to like get, now that some of the stuff that's blocking the road, so to speak, is cleared, now the things that need to come in to support that health will be able to come in and provide the nutrition that can then get into that area that can then begin helping you with your recovery process. The last product I have up here is the, uh, this is known as magnesium oil. It's a liquid and it comes in a pump. Now I already talked about magnesium um, when I was talking about the enhancement formulas. I spoke about magnesium, uh, actually it was the Myomag. And the Myomag is the capsule form that provides these wonderful malate forms and malic acid that work with the magnesium to boost your energy levels um, and to do um, all the things that magnesium does in terms of being able to like boost um, boost bone health. In fact, I'll show you the product again. This was this was my Omag I talked about I talked about earlier, and um, it's an amazing product. But and it provides a good shot of magnesium. I mean, this is this is really a, a, a wonderful wonderful product for um, for the for boosting magnesium in the body. However, when you have bone fractures. Uh, and uh, and connective tissue damage, well, an oral product like that is going to provide magnesium for the entire body. It's going to feed into the Krebs cycle system. It's going to be like just giving you the general magnesium that you need to do like all the things that your cells need to do. Um, now, this product, as I said, it's a liquid, and um, it's got a spray pump, so you just spray it on. Um, this allows the topical application of magnesium directly on the site, which means if you've got a, a fracture or uh, in, the, in the wrist or in the knee or in the elbow or the arm or like wherever you have the fracture, you can actually just apply this directly um, and it goes in topically from the skin straight into the, the joint or the bone. So... What makes this so cool is, is that it's extremely uh, rapidly absorbed. In fact, the form of magnesium is different than the Myomag. The Myomag has Krebs cycle forms and forms that um, will be going into the energy production cycle. This is magnesium chloride. And actually magnesium chloride is considered to be one of the best forms of magnesium um, for rapid assimilation. Um, you know, and it's completely safe. And, um, what you would do is you would spray some, probably, you know, you could spray it directly onto the fracture or to the joint or to the problem area. Um, I like to put it in my other hand first and then rub it on where, you know, to the site, but however you do it and, um, you get it on there, the, uh, magnesium chloride will then be absorbed topically and it just goes right in. And then it, it, the body uptakes it and utilizes it um, right there. And then the rest can go into the bloodstream and be taken wherever. But it's probably the best form of magnesium to be used on a particular area just because it is it can be targeted and it is rapidly assimilated. And um, now it, it can sting skin a little only because... Um, it's concentrated magnesium, and this in this case, it's um, from ancient seabed deposits. So, um, while it doesn't really have sodium in it to speak, it it it's it can be a little slippery and a little stingy. So, when you first start using it, you might apply it and then wait a while. I don't know, ten to fifteen minutes, or until you know, and then take it off with a washcloth. Let's say you just have a sprain or something, or or, or a bruise or something. This will work almost on the spot to begin taking care of that. So that shows you how effective it is. Now, of course, if you have a, a big fracture or big broken bone, you know, obviously these, these things take time to heal, but you, but you can know that this is going in and giving, getting that magnesium boom right into that specific area and helping to, helping to do the job of repair, um, and recovery, um, and giving the body nutrients it needs that in combination with all these other nutrients is gonna, it's going to lead to um, much faster healing um, 
and uh, mitigation of symptoms in the short term, and then in the long term, um, helping helping you to feel better and heal up that that fracture entirely.